Four special <laughs> teams return touchdown today. Two punt, two kickoff. I got Pretty lucky. Good. I closed my eyes as I start running. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can keep using that. It ain't going to work. <laughs> ain't going to work. All right, guys, let's break it down. Best let's quarterbacks, do best safeties. Give us your list. Start with okay. the corners. I'm an old school guy. Mm -hmm. Now, when you take a guy like Mel Blunt and you have to change the rules because he's so big, mm -hmm. he's so physical. I thought I was a big corner. And I walk into the locker room, I'm sitting down on the stool, and Mel Blunt walks in with his cowboy boots and his big belt and his hat. <laughs> and I stand up and he's this much taller than me. And I'm like, you're a corner? Like, no wonder they changed the rules because he was jamming him down the field. Yeah. All right, after that, this guy right here. Night Train Lane, Here, let's his that rookie again. year. There we go. His rookie year, he had 14 interceptions. Wow. As a rookie. As a rookie, I got beat 14 times for a touchdown. As a rookie, I got beat 14 times. I mean, it was nuts. Nobody would ever break that record. Yeah. That record would never be broken. That's outstanding play by the position. Okay, lastly, this is my guy. Ooh. Dick LeBeau. Yeah, that's your oh. guy. 62 picks, all that corner. A great player, played with Night Train. Night Train leaves, Lim Barney comes in, he stays there. He's a great player, he was a great coach, but I think he's overlooked because of those two guys. Dick LeBeau, he belongs in that. They respect the game, Robert. So that's I do. good. All right, Mooch, you go new school, old school, I'm little combination? I'm kind of like in between because I'm gonna, I get safeties, right? Yes. But you know what? A lot of these guys, where's Ronnie Lott? I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna take Ronnie. You know, you're gonna hit him, you want me to hit him? Man, whatever right you want there. to do. Ronnie Lott, boom, you know what? Not because he's my friend, okay? But this guy <laughs> could cover, this guy could hit, this guy could intercept passes. He's got nine interceptions in the playoffs. And you know what? He's one of those guys, the versatility going from Pro Bowl corner for four years to Pro Bowl safety. Unbelievable. And then we just saw a lot about Ed Reed. You hit it. Go ahead. Can I try this? Yes. Yeah, it works. Yeah, Ed Reed, you know, talk about Mr. Do It All. From the U, and you know what? He, he was a factor in every game, and he returned. He had great ball skills. He could have been a running back in this league. He had such great running skills. And then here's another one. I was thinking about the guy who has more interceptions than anybody in the history of the world right here, Paul, Paul Krause. 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 All right, he had 81, Rod. He had 81, you know? I know. Can, can huh? hit it? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a lot. Hit it. That's a lot. No, I'm not going to hit it. Oh. I'm going to audible because I'm going to take this guy right here. You know what? And he's a humble guy. Aww. I'm putting you there. And you're going, well, hey, he's a corner. He's listed as corner. I'm going to make that a safety right there. He played five years as a safety. And you know what? He played for me at San Francisco 49ers. That's why we grabbed him my rookie year because I needed all the help I could get. And the guy was so great. <laughs> and he made so much money that we couldn't afford to keep him any longer. But that guy did it all. Great athlete, great human being, and he had 12 interception returns for touchdowns, most of anybody in the history. Oh, you're going to make me that, cry, Moose. Yeah, you know no, what? Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Right, listen, put him on either play, <laughs> safety or corner. He's those, a great one. Those therapy sessions really paying off between the two of you. All right, let's see how the fan vote went. Uh, cornerbacks. Prime, 95%. Rod, that's pretty good, number two. Wow, that's see? good. Yeah. By the way, Charles Woodson could have made this team, and nobody would have blinked.